Hi everyone, this is Joseph from Forbes Tech Reviews, aka your favorite Cajun tech review. Back with another video today. Today's video, yes, I'm gonna do a quick unboxing of this Poco X3. But before I get into this video, check this out. Okay everyone, so that was a quick unboxing of the Poco X3. What y'all thought about that unboxing? In this part of the video, I'm gonna just go over the phone. We're gonna go over the specs. And I've been using it for a little bit. So I just wanna give you my first impressions of the device. Isn't it a beautiful looking, I love that great color. Look at that, Poco. Yes, it does attract fingerprints on the back, pretty bad. Look at that, Poco. Compared it to his big brother, the Poco F2 Pro, look at that. But let's go over the specs really quick while I have it in front of me. That display right there is a 6.67 inch. They call it a dot display. It has 120 hertz refresh rate. Yes, 120 hertz refresh rate on a phone that costs about $269, depending on where you get it from. I did pick up this phone from eBay, from a known seller that I use all the time to get different phones from. Yes, I did pay a little bit more than the $269, but at AliExpress and GearBest.com, you can get it for about $269. It is a 1080p uh, display. It's, the resolution is 2400 by 1080p. It has the Snapdragon 732G processor in it. This version, I have six gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage. You can get six gigs of RAM and also 64 gigs of storage. Yes, it does have a SD card slot up to 256 gigs. So if you need more storage, you can actually get it. It comes with a 5,160 milliamp hour battery. It has a 33 watt fast charging port in here. The front camera right there, you can see is a 20 megapixel front camera. It comes with dual speakers. So on the back, it does come with a quad camera setup. It, you have a 64 megapixel main shooter. You have a 13 megapixel wide angle lens. Also a two megapixel macro lens. And then also a two megapixel depth sensor lens. Look at that camera hump. What y'all think about it? Let's go over the phone itself. It does have a side mounted fingerprint scanner. The vine rockers on that right hand side too. The SIM card slot and SD card slot is on the left hand side. Yes, it does have a headphone jack, USB type C charging port. There's one bottom facing speaker, also a microphone there. At the top, you have a microphone or IR blaster. Yes, it does have an IR blaster, so if you wanna Troll some people, you can look at that. Zoom in on that camera lens. No, it does not have any type of water resistance and no wireless charging. You can get it in gray and which is this color and then they have a blue color too. What y'all think? I think it's pretty good. It actually feels really good too. Doesn't feel like cheap or cheaply made like I thought it would. It's actually a good phone. It is running Android 10 straight out the box and MIUI 12, which is great. I love MIUI 12. Actually, it's very similar to Apple. At least look at the control panel. That is very Apple. All right, so let's see how much storage you have. So right now I am using 25 gigs of the 120 gigs, which to me, that is a lot. Yes, look at that Mi U12 on here. Will it get Android 11? Yes, it will. Xiaomi always, you know, updates their phone to the latest 
software OS from Android. Yes, it does have some of the US bands in here. It has the same bands as the Poco F2 Pro. So I can test out the speed really quick. Uh, I did some earlier and I'm gonna show y'all what I got. Those are the speeds I got earlier, but let's do one live. Let me turn off. Oh no, I don't wanna turn off that. Let's see, Wi-Fi. All right, so I'm gonna turn off Wi-Fi. Let's see what type of speeds we get. All right, so not too bad, 29.8 and 21 upload, what y'all think? So yes, it works in the US. I will have more tests coming on that also. I did the same thing with the Poco F2 Pro, which I love by the way, look at that. But definitely I wanna test out the cameras, probably do a gaming review, test out the speakers a little bit more. Y'all let me know what other types of videos you wanna see. Do you wanna see it compared to the Poco F2 Pro? The cameras on the rear can shoot up to 4K and 30. The front camera does 1080p at 30. So I don't do 8K or no 4K at 60 on this phone. But again, if you wanna get it from AliExpress or Gearbest, it is $269, which is not a bad price for what you get with this phone. I mean, look at it. It's a beautiful looking phone. Let's compare it to the OnePlus Nord. Look, it's a big phone too, by the way. Also, the big brother, the Poco F2 Pro. It's actually bigger than the F2 Pro. And the bottom, almost the same type of setup. But yeah, that's, this is definitely a big phone with a big looking display too. I don't know, y'all let me know what y'all think about it. Let me know what type of videos you wanna see. I will definitely be putting this through its paces like I normally do on my videos. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, new to the channel, memberships are live. If you wanna join the BAM Nation, hit join, become part of the BAM Nation. Go ahead and make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, so that way you know when I drop a new video with the Poco X3. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter at Forrest Reviews, become part of the BAM Nation. And until next time, peace, I'm out of here. Y'all have a great day now.